Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about CMOS and or invert logic circuit. So and or invert logic circuit and or and invert logic circuit, there are two different logic circuits like AOI and OAI which are most popularly known as complex logic circuits. So what are they? And or invert or another one is or and invert okay so these two are most commonly said to be the complex logic circuit design complex logic circuits and or inverts and or and invert <coughs> why these two are complex logic circuits because they involve all three basic operations like and operation or operation and inverting operation Inverting operation is needed whenever we go for the CMOS logic circuit because CMOS is a complementary output. CMOS produces complementary output. Okay. So, AND OR INVERT OR AND INVERT. In this video, we are going to study about the first one AND OR INVERT logic circuit. So, in the case of AND OR INVERT, AND OR INVERT, so in short it is AND OR INVERT, AOI. AOI. It is the basic standard complex circuit for the CMOS logic circuits. So in in and or invert circuits, first we perform and operation. First we perform and operation, and then R operation, and then inverting operation. Okay, these three are parallelly, uh, not serially done. These three are serially performed. Suppose consider four inputs, for example, for example, consider four inputs like A, B, C, D. Okay, on these four inputs, how to perform this AND or invert operation? So that is, so first we need to perform AND operation. AND operation, let us consider AND operation on these two inputs first and these two inputs next. So, AND operation on A and B inputs gives you AB and AND operation on C and D inputs gives you CD. Okay, next we need to perform R operation. R operation on these two inputs. So, whenever we perform AB, it is one logic function. Whenever we perform AND operation CD, it is again one logic bit. So, when, if you perform R operation on these two, then it is and plus R operation. Okay. Now, what is the mean of invert? Invert is nothing but complement. So, this is the overall result of and or invert for the four input like A, B, C, D. Okay. A, B plus C, D whole bar. Okay. So, what we have done here? First, we have performed and operation and then we have performed R operation and then inverting operation. Okay. This is and or invert operation. Now consider, for example, if there are more than four inputs, then so consider here another example. Consider inputs like A1, A2, A3 comma b1 b2 and c1 c2 c3 okay so total 3 2 5 plus 3 8 total 8 inputs are there 8 inputs okay so how they are connected they are connected like we need an output function boolean function to be generated as a1 a2 a3 so one operation one and operation on these three a inputs plus another and operation between two b inputs and another and operation between these three c inputs later or operation among these three hope you understand so 
A1, A2, A3, this is one and operation and B1, B2, this is second and operation, C1, C2, C3, this is third and operation and later we are performing our operation all these three bits and then inverting operation. Okay, now let us consider the standard standard AOI logic circuit. Okay, standard AOI logic circuit means in terms of logic gates. So, we need one AND gate with three inputs A1, A2, A3. A1, A2, A3. <coughs> Next, second AND operation B1, B2. B1, B2. And third AND operation among C1, C2, C3. C1, C2, C3. Now, these three are connected to OR gate. So, and OR over after that inverter. This is what the function Y. Okay, now we are going to implement the same on the CMOS logic circuit. Okay, remember here when we perform CMOS logic circuit here we are taking the design completely on the NMOS. CMOS is a dual performance here uh, <coughs> with respect to NMOS. So, that's why we will show only NMOS design. We show NMOS representation. We show NMOS representation. and pull up P structure or P3 pull up P3 structure is derived is derived as the dual of the entry as the dual of the entry what do you mean by dual of the entry what do you mean by dual of entry? So, if NMOS transistors are connected in series, CMOS transistors must be connected in parallel. If NMOS transistors are connected in parallel, CMOS transistors must be connected in series. That is the meaning of duality. Okay. So, now, there are some points to be discussed whenever we implement any logic circuit. So, as we are performing only the representation completely with respect to NMOS transistors, we will consider how the NMOS transistors have to be drawn. Okay, so product, if, if when you are designing with respect to NMOS transistors, if you are having any product term, product term NMOS transistors must be in series connection. Okay, product term NMOS transistors must be connected in series and series representation NMOS transistors gives you plus realization, nothing but R realization. Okay. Later, complete function is itself, complete function itself gives you the inverted form. No need to give any not get at the output. Complete function will be inverted form will be in inverted form so no need to provide any not get at the output okay so now we will see it is the p mass dual representation So, this is PMOS is always connected between VDD and output. PMOS is always connected between VDD and output. This is output function Y. Now, what are the inputs we have? There are three inputs A1, A2, A3. All these three are connected in connected in product. Product means in NMOS it is in series. So, we need three transistors with inputs A1, A2, A3. 
okay these three are connected in series so a1 a2 a3 okay and one more set is there b1 b2 they are also in series because it is a product term so b1 b2 and another set is there with the three inputs c1 c2 c3 c1 c2 c3 and now all these three are r operation nothing but they are in parallel this is the realization with respect to nmos transistors in the case of cmos logic circuit and now if you concentrate on the pmos implementation all these three a1 a2 a3 are in parallel one set again b1 b2 in parallel another set again c1 c2 c3 in parallel another set and these three are in again series combination then it gives you the pmos realization okay this is the and or invert logic circuit with respect to cmos design thank you